stopped at Tomboy Mine on Imogene Pass. That's where we're at today. I, I really don't even know what day today is. I think it's like the 6th maybe. But it's in this, I, I don't even know what you would call it, a sort of a valley. But there's the ruins for the mine. And this is the view all the way around here. You want to leave the drone out, Mama? Absolutely beautiful location. We got everybody up and uh, got us a picture done. Sheep Overland Adventures, Colorado trip 2022. So uh, we we got to uh, what what they call the summit of <clears throat> Imogene Pass today. And um, but before we got here, we had some traffic coming at us. Uh, I don't know, good uh, 500 feet below where we are now. We're at 13,114. What? 13,114 feet. 13,114 feet. And uh, so we had some traffic. And I uh, decided to take a go around. And uh, as you guys know, I'll get, uh, I'll get my camera uh, expert to uh, get a uh, picture, a video of our Jeep here. And I'll talk you through that. So we've got a tent topper on top. It, it weighs a couple hundred pounds. Oops, hold on. Okay. Okay. Tent topper on top weighs a couple hundred pounds. Roof rack up there, it probably weighs uh, 65 pounds. We've got a uh, five gallon uh, jerry can here. Full weighs about 35, 40 pounds. Uh, we're carrying a little bit of trash, probably five, six pounds of trash. We got between the spare tire, wheel, rear bumper and all, there's well over, it's probably uh, close to 400 pounds. We're carrying our kitchen supplies up here on top. With that cooler, you're probably talking another 30 pounds. 
Chinese diesel heater, another 10, 15 pounds. We don't have any water, we dumped all our water. So with all that, and, and we're loaded in the back, all of our supplies for overlanding are here. Um, Pelican cases, camera equipment, refrigerator, full refrigerator, bottles of water, all that's weight, all that's in the back. So as we uh, turn to take the, uh, the little bypass, that traffic by, it was steep. And we actually, and behind us, straight back, was a, a bluff, probably a couple hundred foot bluff. So we took that bypass, which put us perfectly in line with the bluff behind us. Got uh, probably 25 feet up the bypass, and the front tires came off the ground. Probably off the ground, at least a foot. We got witnesses, uh, Bruce and Candy Clonch are here. Also, uh, we have Trey, he saw it. I don't know how far they were off the ground, but look pretty high. they come off the ground. So at that point, uh, the worst thing I could have done was stayed on the throttle. If I'd have stayed on the throttle, we'd have reared up, tumbled back down that hill and down that 200 foot bluff. Um, there was no really good options, but that was a, the worst one. So the best thing to do was to let off the throttle, which is going to cause you to go backwards, and use the foot pedal brake because the foot pedal brake locks the front tires. So the front tires in will cause you to grab the front of that vehicle, keep it from rearing up anymore. And then, and we drug back to the edge of the bluff. We probably cleared the bluff by eight feet. We didn't, we didn't get closer than eight feet to the bluff. And- uh, Enough to be scary. It was enough to scare you, <laughs> yeah. So, so you gotta be real careful if you're gonna overland. Um, I don't recommend uh, overlanding to come to the passes. Um, it's very, very dangerous with all this top weight and you've gotta consider it uh, every inch. Uh, I Jean does have some very steep hills and inclines. So, um, so if you're gonna come up here, what we recommend is to come up here, you know, bring yourself a base camp, whatever that is, a pop-up camper, an RV, Get yourself a, you know, Airbnb with some folks and strip your Jeep. Get it as light as possible. Yeah. 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 Yeah.